And back we are. We just fought off this horrendously bad vampire that nearly cost us our life because of some... I call it a bug? Maybe it's not a bug. Maybe it's supposed to be like this. I don't know. It felt like a bug for me. That this vampire lady over here was able to just shot us off here so we cannot come back. I mean, it, it, yeah, man, roleplay-wise, it could happen. That's what gets separated from the group and stuff like that is going on. Aksha's journal, that was her name. Let's uh, loot it all. Can we read it? Can we have a look at her journal? Lizaria sent another party of stupid zombies. One of them was an ogre, and as if that would not make things harder, Reek and Filth took care of it. I didn't even have to walk out. When will she understand that her attempts are useless? I'm getting tired of pretending to ignore who sends these monsters. I'm also getting tired of Madracht. The old elf is powerful for sure, but his mind is in decay. While he barricades himself in his solar... I've read all these damn books, but learned almost nothing. A doom gem. It looks to me forever to imbued it to enough powers to make it worthwhile. I still don't understand how the wizard of Mana Colon could have done it in less than a year. Anyway, now, I could use it to craft a nice weapon, but to what end? Killing Lizaria zombies? I'm losing interest in the project now that the difficult part is done. I don't need magic daggers to make my enemies bleed. Reek is a good minion. He used to be a handsome and but undeath doesn't suit him. Now he's just an obedient little pawn. Who would guess he was once a nobleman? I kept his armor and shields so he doesn't need them anymore. Filth was always scum, but now at least she's of some use. She brings corpses to feed the ghouls, so I don't have to walk through piles of rotting fools. I'm thinking of creating another brood, though... A nice meaty brood of flesh would be nice. Maybe next month. Okay, so she got slowly tired of this whole operation. Maybe waiting it out would have handled it differently. Potentially. What do we got over there, Dusty? No. A primed spear and an amethyst. Loot it all. We can do something with the primed spear. So. Let's grab all of you. I guess there's the armor that she was talking about from the nobleman. There is get one gold, Doomblade Great Swords, and Doomblade Rapier. So, reads Doomblade Rapier, reads Doomblade's Great Sword. Let's have a look. I think we might be able to craft it. Primed short swords. Doomblade rapier. We need a primed rapier. Does she have a primed rapier? She's only a normal rapier, right? Yeah, just a normal one. Who knows? Maybe we find a primed rapier. And here's the armor. Splendid half plate armor. Dexterity plus two. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. That's 100% magical. 100% detect magic natura divo oculus magic detected so yeah but we don't know yet what it does exactly so this one has an ac of 15 the skill armor this is the same I think since she is more often in the front line than anybody else, let's give her that instead of the skill armor plus one. Splendid half plate armor. There we go. Ooh. Looks nice. Looks nice. Can we can a warlock carry medium armor? I don't think he's proficient to it. Yeah, it's not proficient to it. Stuff disadvantage. I would not like to leave this thing here. So, do we have any of the recipes? Hundred notes, love poem. That's the book. We can't the amethyst. We got the spear. 
Okay. Primed plate. Plate of armor of sturdiness. Rapier of acuteness. Doom gem. We got two. Primed rapier. Can also make an doomed greatsword. Uh huh. Fair enough. Open the door. What awaits us next? Uh oh. That looks like a minor gate. Where do you suppose it goes? To the master's floor, hopefully. Or into the heart of a volcano or somewhere equally unpleasant. So, oh boy. are we going? Why don't you go first? If it's somewhere nice, you can come back and tell us. <laughs> is this how we unlock now minor gates? It looks like. Okay. These minor gates sound like a potential fast travel thing. Okay. And through we go. Wow, I can still I, I still cannot believe it we freaking managed to go through that Ugh. fight. Teleporting feels weird. I wonder what this Mardracht is like. If he fought at the rift, imagine what stories he can tell. Dropping True. in unannounced on a paranoid recluse with untold magical powers. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> oh, I love it. I love the banter in this game. It's it's perfect. It's hilarious. It's great. There's a button over there. And there's some things on the ground. It looks like a trap. We won't be fooled so easily. Okay. Okay, there's something on the ground. Let's try to disarm this trap. Uh oh. Oh, that was a success. Okay, I need to poop my pants. Then it might not be. Perfectly executed. There we go. This door has no visible lock. Okay. I do not have any ability that would let me unlock this thing, right? Find traps. Fox skin, protection from poison. Dog strider. Nope. Nope. I mean, I could misty step inside. And out. If I would like to... I mean, potentially. Cast spell. Misty step. I could misty step inside, but how do I come out then again? That's the question. Can... Ragu, can you get, just, you know, climb over it? No. Fair enough. I wonder this button opens, though. Et voila. There's a trap. There's a trap? Okay, let's hope to disengage that trap. That would be nice. That worked beautifully. Any other traps? What do we got over here? We get spells for Dad, Frostborn a dagger, Frostborn long swords, and a crystal of winter. Okay, we're getting materials for weapons now. Frostborn had hunger. Oh no, it's more like frost more. Rhymed long swords. Where's the other recipe over here? Read. Okay, what is this symbol? Oh. 
Oh, okay. Do I step on this? Is this open? I think the slab has triggered something. What if I step on this? Does that open something else? I heard some kind of mechanism. Okay. I think the slab has triggered something. Let's move through. There's some arrows. A trap. Shown around. Arrow up, arrow over there. That definitely did work. This looks like there's a long rest chance up top. Dang, a trap. Definitely should switch because that gives me higher AC. Very good. What's that over there? Scroll of Raising Dead, Adventurous Journal. What does the Adventurous Journal say? Over here it is. Aksha told me that if we want to meet the Master, we would have to find the stairs and then follow a specific path. Once we find the stairs, we need to go down go up after that we should turn to the right go up and then go down again okay so down up right up down i'm gonna put this down over here to the notes on steam notes very handful tool so we got down up right up down was that it down up right up down down, up, right, up, down. After stairs. Okay. Fair enough. Let's have a look over here. This door is, has no visible lock. Okay. What about over here? Let's be cautious. Ooh, lots of runes. Easy. Can I open the door? No. It only be opened by something or somebody else. Fair enough. Dustina. Let's have a look. What does that thing do over there? I think this slab has triggered something. This slab has opened this door. Okay. This is the stair thing. This is unlocked over here. A thing to crawl through. That's good to know. No minds, we had that one already. So you can go away from that one, because we don't need that anymore. As we can crawl through. with different mechanics but I would still like to be able to go up there and for that I'm gonna cast on me if that's doable misty step and jump up there Very good. Nice. That's a long rest place. Moving, <laughs> moving over there. Moving over here. And uh, let's bring everybody into the new room. 
and then we'll see. So I guess this will activate if we are four slabs for the four of us. I guess this will activate. So there's the stair or the arrow. So we want the stair first. Stair. Click it. Touched. Boom. Good. We're now in a new place. What's that R over there? Hmm. Whoa, that looks weird. <laughs> it's similar to some magical wards I've seen, but... Don't touch it. Don't go near it. Don't even look at it. It hasn't done anything yet. It doesn't work? I wonder... Don't. Just don't. Perhaps he made a spelling mistake. Oh, I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Everybody said should not touch it. Oh my goodness gracious. Should we touch it? I'm intrigued now. Very nice. Oh boy, a specter. A specter, no. We do do not like specters. Come on, let me shoot it. Okay, let me attack it. No. Clumsy idiot. Is this a, a surprise attack? I hope it's a surprise attack. So, cast a level 2 spell of Hunter's Mark. And swing in. There we go. Uh, what do we want to do? What do we want to do? Can make myself blurry. I'm just gonna put guidance on the right. Natura, Divo, Viribe. Good. We'll see. So. Cast spell. Do you want to use it over here already? Just, just do normal. Evo Malmis. Normal shot at him, curse Death of time. Is out for you. Very good. I'm gonna come over here. Cause I'm a little bit afraid of him. And I want the sword of dragon for magical protection. Good. Let's attack. Seventeen hits, burning touch. Give him a second slap. Net twenty. Truly formidable. And it's his turn. It's a net one, my friend. Withering touch. Oh, oh, we don't want the withering touch to touch us. We do not want this thing to touch us. This is disgusting. I think it lowers your HP uh, in level and whatnot. If I think it is what it is. You didn't get me. Okay. Very nice. Very nice. So, what was he protecting? A scale armor? Another adventurous book. Remarkable arrows. Adventurous notes. Both are on Raguk's side. Raguk. Scale armor plus one. Another scale armor plus one. Last night, we finally find the stairs. I think Aksha was holding back on us because they're not real stairs, just some kind of symbols. In the morning, we will start again, and this time we'll follow the path to the maze exit. I know I'm very sure main stair in the middle of the maze It's actually the way out. I was right. We follow the sign and it seems to work. We're getting close to the main stair. Today, we found two new symbols and 
Wait, I don't think we're alone in the maze. I can hear them coming towards me. We'll move away from that room and try to hide until... And that was it. Oh, you could have crawled through that gap over there. Fair enough. Okay, what do we do? I have two times this thing over here. Let's make another detect magic spell. I want to know if that Sorry. one thing is more potent than the other. Doesn't seem so. Okay, I'm going to leave both behind and hope for those looter guilds that they will do the trick. Okay, let's touch the R. It lost its mana, that's all. Depleted rune. Okay. Fair enough. Oh, there's a button over there. Okay. Let's step on it. I heard some kind of mechanism. Question is, what kind of mechanism? Because it feels to me that we're seem to be a little bit stuck over here in this room. Why am I just blind? Undignified, but necessary. Yeah, there's there's nothing to go through. I heard some kind of mechanism. Okay. Kneel now, rise later. That's going through here. I'm confusion. Is there I heard some kind of mechanism? Are we stuck? Do we have to do something with this rune? The pleated rune? Can I teleport back? Path is blocked. Oh. Seems to be something over there. Oh, I see. We have to crawl through. Sometimes there is simply no choice. I did not see that, thanks to the minimap. That was showing something up there. So cautious. Moving through. Let's take that. Some arrows. A wand. And the potion of greater healing. Good. So it was stair down. So over there first. Good. Let's click the button. Okay. So stair down. And we're back here. It looks like. But now everything is activated. Of some sort. Um, it was down, then up. Let's see where the, the thing for up is. Up is over here. So let's move over here to up. Good. Mechanism. Up next is down up right. So bottom to the right. We're back in here. 
Oh, there's the rights. The rights one. Oh, damn it. Somebody stepped on this thing. Undignified, but necessary. Let's move, let's move, let's move. Rolling through. And here we are at the right. Okay, so it was down, up, right, and I think up again. Down, up, right, up, and then down. So down, up, right, so we need up again. I wonder what that button does over there. Probably gonna move in there anyways at some point. Down, right, up. Up. Down, up, right, up, and now another one. Another time down, and we're done. Kneel now, rise later. Well said, Kormakar, well said. Okay. That should be the last one. This snap has triggered something. There we go. That was the last thing. So now we can go inside. But I'm still kinda curious on terms of this room over here. Therefore, I am gonna misty step inside. Arcana, Konjo, Viribe. And we're gonna click that button. Should I click the button? Click the button. Oh, the button just opens the door. There's nothing in here. Wow. Really? Nothing in there. Wow. Gotta go to the long rest area. Gonna take a long rest. Before we hop into that portal once more. I mean, we didn't do a lot of different things. Or we didn't spend a lot of the spell slots and whatnot. And so we're not getting attacked in the meantime. Good. Can I fast move in there? No. Doesn't look like it. Undignified. But necessary. So moving through here. Perfect. Let's be cautious. And in we go. Uh oh, skellies. Yeah, they're coming straight to us. Um, well, let's start with firing some magic missiles over here on all these skelly archers. Actually, let's fire a magic missile on all of them. One, two, three, four, five. So we'll get the Curse of Time. And they get surprised as well. Skeletal Knights. Okay, we have no knowledge of them yet. Ooh, well done. 
a debuff of them all. Uh, we want the Quasits for normal attacks and piercing damage and whatnot. So, Dustina, moving there to the lovely, lovely skeletons. Skeleton Archer 1, dead. Skeleton Archer 2, nearly you dead. Have them now. I could action surge and attack again, but they're surprised, so no need for that. No need for that. Let's cast an annoying bee on that one skeleton archer. That should kill him. Perfect. Oh, that knight is not surprised. Interesting. And rolled super high on the attack. So, Raguk. Let's jump right into the middle. Do you want to cast? Nah, that's not. I'm not not wasting spells on no this. No quarter given. No quarter given. Down he goes. Very good. Yeah, Knight is pretty beefy. Skeleton enforcer. <clears throat> Let's focus fire on the knight. Arcana Evo Malmis. Beautiful hits. Beautiful hits. So, Dustina, since you're here, you cannot go away because otherwise this will trigger an attack of opportunity. But, let's do a rising shout to give advantage to Raguk's attack. 19. Hits with 15 damage. 17 with another 11. You know what? Let's go for an action search and take down the enforcer. Yes, one more hit. Oh, net one. No. Just at the very end. He's giving me an annoying bee. Natura, Oli, Minure. And that's enough to take him down. Beautiful. So. It's a 20 to you. Wow. It's another 20. The knight definitely is not jerking the rounds. He hits hard. Well struck. But I think our damage would be enough to not use and hunt this mark over here. Beautifully. Look at that. Look at that. And then Kormaker's turn. I'm going to come a little bit closer. I'm going to blast him away. Very good. Perhaps. Okay. That's Tina's turn. Move around him. He ain't attacking from behind. And it worked. Skeleton Knight. AC of 16 HP. 60%. Uh, 60 HP. Fair enough. Money. Money, money. Chainmail. What do we got over here? Golden Gold Locket. We'll take that. Some more coin. Leave the rest. Okay. What's with this mirror over here? What's wrong with all these mirrors? Exactly. What's going on? Okay, it just opens. That is weird. What happens on this button? Is that close the door? I clicked it, so I'm not sure what happens, or if anything happens. Let's have a look in here. Ooh. What we got? Poisoner's kits. Huh. Then some scrolls. Scrolls of Spirit Guardian. Slow. Invisibility. Unidentified potion. And four rations. So, looks like we're a little bit over cucumbered. Let's give that to Raguk. 
Let's get the poisonous kit to Raguk and we should be good. So, Raguk, would it be so kind as to go up there? You straight up climb up there? And straight up climb up there. Nice. What do we got here? Oh shit. The white over there. <laughs> They're falling on the noses all the time. Well, let's have a fight with the white. Two shots over there. Battle has started. Is he surprised? Can he be surprised? I don't think he's surprised. Boom. But we are still in hiding. Look at that. That's on height. Let's run up to him. Give him a slap. It's 20, it hits. 18 hits again. And is down to like 20-ish 20, 20 percent of his life. So, Raguk. Let's give him an Hunter's Mark. And we're on hiding. Moving forwards and swing comes in. 13 misses. Ooh, that hits like a brick, like a brick. Beautiful. Moving over here to guard myself, and we are putting some annoying bees on him. No, could not. So I have to go into the fray. Even the dead can hear you. Even the dead can hear me. Natura oli minure. And it's five on the annoying bee. Get some knowledge on the whites. Nothing really, just got the entrance of him. Looks super cool, the animation. To be honest. I heard some kind of mechanism. So I don't want to take that one. Drop it. So That thing opened that door. Okay. You stand on it. I heard some kind of mechanism. We're moving over here and we're kicking this thing down. Ah! That leads us back to, to the beginning. Okay. That's very helpful. We just open it? No. We need to jump down there. And come from this side. And move up from here. Fair enough. Down we move. You come over here. Let's cast some light spells. Natura Encho CO. Natura Encho CO. So, what happens on this button? Probably that door goes open. Okay. That door went open. Oh, but, uh, path will lead onwards from here. But, this then open ultimately the pathway to the long rest place. Good to know. 
good to know. So we're going to long rest. I think I want to take a short rest. So we do some healing. Yeah, do a short rest. Good. So we're going to use one hit sign over here, one over here. That's okay. Very odd painting. That's it. Just a very odd painting. Let's open the door. And we got a skeleton sorcerer. I hope we're not surprised. So let's dab in. We got a white. We got a sorcerer. I'm gonna go straight up to the sorcerer and start jabbing him. That does hit. We're gonna do it again. That does hit as well. He's resisting my stabbings. Action surge. Yeah, they they definitely they definitely are okay with me using rapiers against them. So. Where are the skeleton archers? Probably in the other room. If I'm just standing here and gonna Eldritch Blast the Sorcerer to bits. Hostile spellcasting makes a shield. We gotta counter your shield, friends. Yes. Not bad, eh? I feel like I'm playing Harry Potter right now. Um, and we are doing the bind with the closets. Moving over here. So, here comes the archers. 15 misses. Where's the other one? Another archer with an 8. Also misses. White is coming in. Ooh. Life drain. Look disgusting. But the knight does... does a safety hit. So, we're gonna up cast this now. Hunter's Mark. Okay, I didn't see, the see them on the heights. We want the white to go first. Or I could go for the archers. A good kid in what? Go for the archers quickly. And take him out. Ten. Wait till the next one. Offhand attack. That 20, one by the dust. In the turn. So, coming over here. I think we're gonna put a moonbeam on you guys. Let's do it. Moonbeam! And they saw me. <coughs> and turn. Oh, there's another white. I'm just gonna dodge. Hope you guys are focused attacking me. Gonna move in here. And we are gonna cast Eldritch Blast. On both, actually. Arcana Evo Malmus. There we go. So the debuff is on. Good to go. Skeleton Archer, 13, that misses. Very good, he fails. Gets a lot of damage. Tries to shove me and attack me. Of course I'm attacking you. Attack of opportunity. It goes over to me. There goes the two misses. Moves through it one more time. So if I move away, that will trigger an attack of opportunity. We're definitely gonna cast now the Hunter's Mark on Natura Divo. the right. And I'm gonna move around here so the ar archer cannot shoot me. Yeah. Oh. 
Here comes the first attack. Here comes the second swing. That's an at one. It misses. No. <clears throat> the blue beam will move onwards. Let's see, attack these two. Ooh, net 20 on the life drain. That must have hurt. Coming on this side. Net Wendy, burning touch. Is resisting sadly, but I'm gonna make the shouts so we're not attacking with disadvantage, even though they're close, close combat to us. So cast a spell. One on the whites, one on the skeleton knights. Push them away. Very good. One is down, the other one's still standing. Here comes the archer shot, it's an eight, that misses big time. It's gonna also for a gook, fair enough. Fair enough, two misses. Well done, Ragook, your 19 AC is, is doing marvelous. Oh man. Looks like our orc is not seeing good in, in the dark. There we go. Some nice throws. So, Adamans, please move the beam over here. Well, thank you. Yeah, over there. That should hopefully kill the whites. He's dead. Moving over here to attack the knights. Very good. I mean, I get it, they're resisting the piercing attacks. We're just stabbing through their... <laughs> through their bones. So, let's hope this takes out the archer back there. Yeah, archer dead. Perfect. Was exactly 14 damage, so we need it. He is having a back time with the radiant damage. And Raguk also having a back time getting... nastily hit... from him. Interesting. Moving over here. Beautifully. And? Another one, he's dead. Fantastic. So, let's be careful with the moonbeam. You know, the last time what happens. So... Take those. Raguk, you can take the poison. This is a quarter staff that I could give Adamantinius. And we've leveled up. We can level up. Quarter staff. Oh, well, that's a light source thing. There we go, cool to seven instead of the spear. When it seeks minus one. I think it was the same formula. Yeah, one six minus one. We're not really good with strength on knocking. But at least we can now use Shilala, Shiliga on it. Perfect. Nothing of interest over here. Just a lot of arrows to the bow. Spirit and Flash, Advanced Studies of Necromancy. So, we're gonna quick travel back to the long rest area and do the level up. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we do the level up before we we enter anything or go any further. <clears throat> Here's what we get.
Sue, so, level up. Nine hit points. We get an ability score or a bonus feat. I think we're gonna go for ability score and put her dexterity on on max. I think. Let's see. What kind of feat can we grab? Plus one dex. Magical items are automatically identified when put in your inventory. Ooh, arcane appraiser. I think that's something that I would like to give our um you know our druid. When you're about to get hit by melee attack while dual wielding, you can use your reaction to get plus three AC until the end of the attack. Nice. We hit an enemy with a melee weapon. Ready attack. They must also do a contested roll. If not knocked prone. Advantage on ready attacks. You can use your bonus action to increase your movement speed by three. You can use your bonus action to take aim. Nice. Master Alchemists. What's a follow up strike? When you use an action with a two handed weapon, no. While you are wielding two handed weapons, you get plus one AC. Ooh. I never really dig deep into the feats that you can get in here. You gain resistance to poison damage, have advantage on rolls against being poisoned, and gain plus one to constitution. Uh, could do that. Then we have a plus. That's not bad. Proficiency in con saves is not already proficient otherwise. Creed of Arun. Okay. I think I like that. The Creed of Arun. Getting proficiency in constitution saving throws. Daunting push. When you successfully shove an enemy, they lose half their movement speed. Okay, you're for battle. You have advantage on your initiative rolls. I like that. Enduring body. Increase your constitution by one, and your hit points increase by an additional one for each time you gain a level. We take that. We take that. More HP, baby. Yeah. Raguk. Unlocks a class feature. Gain advantage on ability checks towards this creature type. And additional damage against its equal to your unknown damage. Ooh. Undead, celestial construct. Lands, giants, fiends. We're fighting undead right now, so... I guess we're going for undead. You're an adept in living and traveling in a certain time of terrain. Let's grab mountain. And I don't want to unlearn any spell. Let the computer make choices for this for you now. Can I just ignore this? Oh, there we go. Uh, beautiful. Finish. Level up. So we're getting six hit points. Unlearn an invocation. No. Do want to unlearn an invocation? Thank you kindly. Do want to unlearn any spells either? Although I'm tempted for tongues to be able to read that book that we found. But not for now. Maybe if I unlearn darkness and therefore get the tongue skill. Definitely gonna need to fly at some point as well.
Let's grab fly instead of tongues. Is more useful. So. What do you get, Adamantius? We get druid spell casting. Plus one in the third spell slots. Land strides. Moving through difficult terrain does not cost extra movement and you're immune to magical plants that impede movements such as entangle or spike growth. Nice. Nice. So... The other ones are protection from energies that we can anyways use. Prepare spells. Looks good. Looks good. Close. I do like this dispel magic thing. But uh, we'll see. We'll see. Wow. We've uh, managed to go through the riddle. And we'll see if the master waits us. But uh, that is time for another episode. Thank you guys everybody for watching. Like and subscribe and see you in the next one.